Okay, so we're now going to be adding uh, functionality to our system to allow an administrator to send out um, emails. Um, so the first thing we need to do is prepare for this and allow the user to tick a box and basically say whether they want to receive these emails or not. Um, now obviously this can be done by just you know sending out a group of emails to people but we it would be nice to give people the option so we need a field in our database table to um, you know store whether the user has said yes to this or no and that's just going to be re represented by a zero or a one so the first thing we want to do let's just take a look at the structure of our um, database table at the moment for our users um, we need to add a field at the end. Um, so let's go ahead and add one column or field at the end of the table. Um, and I'm going to call this uh, allow email. So allow underscore email. It's obviously going to be an integer. And by default, we will set it to one. Um, so when a user registers, I've saved that now. So when a user registers, um, the allow email field will automatically be set to one. So if I go and browse, uh, you can see I've created two new accounts here, and that's just because we're going to be sending emails out to a group, uh, you know, all of our registered users. So we needed to see this so we can test it. So if I scroll along here, you can see that allow email is now one for all of these users. So I'm going to uh, use Billy as the account example um, that doesn't. That, that where we don't want to send an email to. So we're going to send an email to Dale and Ashley. So Dale at phpacademy.org and Ashley at phpacademy.org. But we're not going to be sending one to Billy because he's going to have his email preference unchecked. So now what do we need to do? Well, um, let's head over to our settings.php page. Uh, you can see at the moment that the settings that we have available are first name, last name, and email. We need to update this with a checkbox, and the user can check this um, or leave it unchecked. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, open up our settings.php page. Uh, so if we scroll down and open settings, um, the way that we've built this, we can really easily... Um, we can really easily um, ch change this so so we can pop this little checkbox in. So let's go ahead and pop the checkbox in first and then we'll update our PHP to uh, take this change into account. So inside of our form, uh, we need to go ahead and uh, add another list item. And this is going to be a checkbox. So let's go ahead and just put the input field in here. So it's input type of checkbox. Uh, and the name of this is going to be allow email. Remember, we use these names the same as our field names. Uh, we don't have to, but it's, it works out a lot easier. Um, okay, so uh, that's basically it. Uh, after this, I'm going to write, um, would you like to receive email from us? Okay, so let's take a look at how that looks now. Okay, so it looks all right. We can check or uncheck. The first thing we need to take into account is, at the moment, this is unchecked. However, uh, logged in as Alex, you'll notice that uh, allow email sets a one. Well, it is for all users. So this surely should be checked. So we need to go ahead and we need to open um, our init file. And remember our user data function that pulls in the data about our user. Uh, we need to add this as one of the fields that we want to uh, call in. So allow underscore email. So now we're going to have access to this via the user data uh, variable, which is uh, an array. So in here, what we can do is we can determine whether this checkbox is checked. Now to do that, we have the um, attribute checked and we set the value to checked. A bit odd, but that's just what we do. So that will now check that. But obviously, we don't want it always checked. We don't want it always unchecked. We want to, you know, compare this to the user's uh, value. So let's go ahead and break into PHP tags, and we want to use an if statement, and we want something to happen in here if something is equal to something. And um, what we want to happen is we want to echo checked equals checked. And when do we want that to happen? Well, we want that to happen when user data allow email is equal to one. 
because if allow email is equal to one, that means that they have chosen to receive email. So if I go ahead and uh, hit enter and refresh this page, this remains checked. Uh, let me just go and uncheck this uh, and we'll notice the change just to make sure that we have done everything correctly. So I'm going to change that to a zero. Go back here and refresh and that's unchecked. Brilliant, it works. So now let's go ahead and adjust the functionality so this is actually taken into account and stored. So if we scroll up, uh, you can see that we've got our update data array here and we just pass in what we want to update and the value. We've already covered this in the settings part of the tutorial. So if you need a, ref a refresher, go back to that. Okay, so what do we need to do? Well, the, uh, the um, field in our database is called allow email. So we want to set this to, well, what do we want to set it to? Now we've got a problem here. Um, in fact, let me go, go ahead and get rid of that just for now. I'm going to go ahead and echo dollar underscore um, post allow email. Now this is just to test the value that we get given uh, from submitting this, whether it's checked or unchecked. So at the moment, uh, nothing's happening. But when I check this and click update, uh, oh no, we're passed through to uh, success, aren't we? So let's go ahead and just get rid of that um, and we'll, we'll leave the exit in there. And that just stops us redirecting. Uh, so let's go back and click update and you've seen it, it says on and that's because it's checked. When I uncheck it and click update, um, nothing happens. It says undefined index allow email. So essentially, if this value is equal to on, it means that we have a checked value. Otherwise, there's nothing. So taking this into account, what we now need to do, in fact, I'll keep that header part unchecked. We want to create a new variable called allow email. And this is going to be equal to, we're going to use the ternary operator to perform an if statement within here, within these parentheses, and then assign a value to this allow email um, uh, variable. So what we're saying, if dollar underscore post uh, allow email is equal to the string on, okay? This is quite strange that it, do, that it doesn't do a zero and a one, but this is just how we have to deal with it. So if it's equal to on, we want this allow email value to be one. Remember, we're storing one or zero in our database. Otherwise, we want it to be zero. So now if we go ahead and echo allow email, what happens? Well, um, we click update here. You, you'll notice this error. That's just because the variable is not set. But because we're redirecting, that doesn't really matter too much. You can see it's zero. If I check it and click update, it's now one. So we can now either depending on how quick or short we want to be we can say allow email and we could set this to allow email or we could grab this without the ending uh, single quote uh, semicolon and we can pop that in there so this will automatically um, set this this value here within this array uh, depending on whether this is equal to uh, on or not. So we'll do it like this um, and let's go ahead and uncomment um, the header function out and let's go ahead and test this because we've adjusted everything that we need. So uh, over to settings, uh, at the moment Alex is zero for allow email. If I check it and click update, your details have been updated. Let's go back over to settings and it's checked. So we can assume that when we go ahead and refresh this, that allow email is now one. Uh, and then we can go ahead and just test it by unchecking it and changing it back. So that's now unchecked. Let's browse again and just check. Perfect. Now, why are we doing this? Well, um, well, how, well, really the question is what are we going to do after this? Well, when we loop through the users in our database to send them an email, we're going to be sending them an email to this email address. We need to only grab users where the allow email is equal to one. So that's how that's why we're doing this and that's how we're going to be using that. So we're going to be qu querying our database for users where the allow email field is equal to one. And then we can just send an email to them. So we've successfully added this little checkbox here and we've allowed the uh, users to choose their settings. Let's just quickly go ahead and log in as Billy 
and go ahead and change the settings to not receive email. Uh, and I guess I'll quickly go and log in as myself here just to update that so I do receive an email. Perfect. So now we have, uh, we're all set up to test this. We have Billy not wanting email, me and Dale and Ashley all wanting email. So I'll be in the next part of this walking you through actually how we can go ahead and send these emails.